Welcome to part 2 of this APM and CAD to CAM presentation. In part 1 we showed how CAD to CAM could be used to process a CSV file created within APM. Within this presentation we cover what is CAD to CAM. There's a presentation of style layer processing in CAD to CAM for nested base manufacturing of feature extracted solids and a summary of style layer processing within CAD to CAM. We'll start with what is CAD to CAM. Well under the help file CAD to CAM is described as your power tool for nested base manufacturing. The description continues to say it is a tool for linking both cabinet design software and user created CAD drawings, usually DXF, to CNC woodworking machines, providing fast and powerful automation for the process of generating NC code files for successful and profitable nested base manufacturing. This description is correct, however we do have many customers who are using CAD to CAM to produce single part programs and not for nested base manufacturing. We also have many customers who are outside the woodworking industry and use CAD to CAM for the batch processing of CAD files. We have customers who are using it with laser, water jet, plasma cutting and other engineering disciplines. Next we'll give you a short presentation of how we use CAD to CAM to process feature extracted solids. We have this reception desk here which was created as a solid and we received it as a parasolid. The legs were created as a series of 20mm thick sections. And these were feature extracted within AlphaCam and then saved away as ARD files. The production process we wish to follow is route all the internal slots and groove with a 12mm flat tool. Also route all outline profiles with the same 12mm tool. And then apply the edge profile to the feet and shelf components you can see in the top right hand corner. And then multi drill after the sheets have been nested. The sectional leg components have holes running through the middle of them at 64 and 96 centres, so we're able to configure the multi drill to utilise gang drilling. From AlphaCam, we select CAD to CAM style layer processing. I have an order here ready to process and some part files already within that order. We'll add some additional ones. We'll add further components to this list. And modify the quantities on these. And finally, we'll add the shelves and panels. The only one that needs change in there is the top shelf. Under options and nesting we'll just make sure we're on the right size of sheet. There are many other options within this nester. We can cut small parts first, we can set up an onion skin if we wish to perhaps go through in two passes, set up a minimum X and Y dimension or a minimum part area. We have here the different operations that are going to be applied. This has been set up as a machining auto style using proven machining styles. We're also running a geometry query which will ensure that the CAD data is organised and put on predefined layers. We're now ready to nest. Set the material thickness to 20 millimetres. We have a multi drill set up and configured. It's now applying these routing toolpaths to all these components. Once they've been nested, it will then apply the multi drilling.
and the CATICAM processing is complete. We can then load the sheets into AlphaCam. We see this has then created two sheets. And the NC code is automatically created in the background along with reports and labels. It's a summary of CATICAM style layer processing. Style layer processing utilizes the geometry query manager to standardize and manage the CAD layers prior to the machine in auto styles. The machine in auto styles applies proven ordered tooling data to these CAD layers, including data such as feed speeds, spindle speeds, and depth of cut. Nesting, including features such as automatic support tags, parts within parts, and nesting zones. Multi-drilling is applied after the nest for maximum yield and flexibility. As well as NC programs, in the background, reports and labels for sheet and part identification are also created. Thank you for your attention.